Hi, I have a question regarding to uh, grid tie uh, uh, inverter with limiter. Now I'm a little bit confused because here in the United States we have uh, a split phase, and um, now this is going to be based on a 220 volt inverter. So let's say. I have a solar array system that is 500 watt, okay, and I happen to have a load that is 500 watt. So here, the and I turn on the load, and the array puts out 500 watt into the inverter, and the inverter actually. Uh, has a sensor here that sees that hey the load is on there's 500 watt and uh, this load happened to be a uh, 120 volt which is uh, it's on one of the phase only in this case is on L1 so the the inverter sees that I'm putting taking out 500 watt so the inverter okay well let's put out 500 watt to accommodate for that so the inverter generates 500 watt now the 500 watt on this 220 volt inverter, remember it connected to uh, there's L1, L2, so it puts out 250 watt through L1 to accommodate for the 500 watt I'm using. So therefore, I will only be taking power from the grid, which is 250 watt plus the 500 watt from my uh, inverter. To, to power this unit so I'm actually saving uh, 250 watt uh, by using my solar array so that's the save however now what happened on L2 leg the inverter put out 250 watt on the L, L2 leg and because there's no load on the L2 this L2, this 250 watts actually feed back to the grid. And because I'm, I, I'm, I don't have net meter, so I don't have net metering. So, so actually, I, uh, they will charge me for putting power back into the grid. So, so my overall, overall summary on this is I am paying 250 watt through L1 to to from the from the grid to power my load and I'm paying 250 watt through L2 to put it back in the grid so total I'm paying for is 500 watt and my system actually generates 500 watt so that leaves me with zero uh, benefit so, without a full electrical understanding, this is to the best of my, my knowledge, i have seen that this is totally useless unless this load it is a 220 volt which is connected to L1 and L2 or unless this inverter it is a 120 volt which is doesn't have the L2 leg so please somebody shed some light on this and correct me if I'm wrong I appreciate anybody's thought on this thank you very much for your time